Good day guys, still on our items um tutorials. We would like to solve a very important question here. Alright. Now most of the times you see that when you come to your iTunes to convert um your music files into MP3, uh, M4A or WAV files, and when you try to convert them, alright, because you just watch a tutorial that this say you should follow like this and convert like this. When you try to convert them, this error message pops up. You said none of the selected files were converted because they could not be found. Okay. Um, none of the selected files could be converted because they could not be found. All right. So now this error is an error that will actually piss you off because um, the person who referred you to iTunes uh, just told you that iTunes is like the best converting app and stuff like that. All right. So most of the times, um, what causes this error? Let's say I want to convert this song. All right. I want to convert this song. Right. When I want to convert this, song, I go to file. And first of all, when you want to convert, you have to do your settings, all right? Uh, you come to preferences. And when you come to preferences, you go to import settings. Now from here, you choose whether you want to convert it to WAV file, you choose whether you want to convert it to MP3, okay? Now, let me say um, you have already made all your, all, your, uh, all your settings, all right? Now, when you want to uh, convert this file, you actually select here. Now, when you come to file, you go to convert. When you go to convert, you, you, you go to create um, either MP3 version of the WAV version, depending on your settings. Now, this error message pops out. None of the selected files were converted because they were not found. All right. This error will just like piss you off for real. And um, I'm here to show us how to solve this error. Now, what is simply the error here? When you click a, a file like this, you haven't selected it. OK, when you click a file like this, you haven't selected it. All right you haven't selected this file now when you click this file it will show down all right now to select this file you actually come here and select now when you select can you see it turning blue all right that shows that you have selected this file now when you go to your file you go to convert you go to create mp3 version it will ask actually convert can you hear the sound all right so the only error there was because you didn't actually select uh you didn't actually um you didn't uh, select the file, all right? You only opened it. And by clicking on it to open, you felt you have selected it. No, you come down and select, all right? Now, the converted one, you could move it to your screen and you have your MP3 file there, all right? If you are converting to WAV, uh, you convert the MP3 to WAV and you have your WAV file on the screen, all right? So see you guys in the next tutorial and bye for now, guys.